10 Best Places to Visit in Indonesia 10. Raja Ampat Islands. An island cluster on the northwestern tip of Papua New Guinea, Raja Ampat is one of the most sensational diving destinations in Indonesia. Raja Ampat, which means Four Kings, is made up of four major jungle clad islands surrounded by turquoise lagoons and pearly white palm fringed beaches Waigio, Salawati, Masul, and Batanta, along with thousands of smaller islands. The archipelago is celebrated for its rich marine life and underwater coral reefs, home to as many as 75% of all known coral species. With everything from underwater photography to wreck diving, it's so beautiful, you should definitely invest in an underwater camera. 9. Tanjung Pudding National Park. Tanjung Pudding National Park is one of the world's natural wonders celebrated for its endangered orangutans, some of the last of these orange, long haired primates on Earth. Located in the jungles of Borneo, the third largest island in the world that's part of Indonesia, Malaysia and the Sultanate of Brunei, the park is home to a variety of wild lowland habitats on a peninsula overlooking the Java Sea. Habitats range from swamp forests to alluvial plains and ocean coastline that provides a home to a diverse array of wildlife, so diverse that it was declared a game reserve before being deemed a national park in 1982. 8. Flores Island the Indonesian island of Flores means «flowers» in Portuguese, a name that hails from the European missionaries who arrived in the 16th century. Lying to the east of Sumbawa and to the west of Lembada in Nusa Tenggara, the long island of Flores is famous for its amazing multi-coloured crater lakes around Mount Kelamutu, traditional village homestays, and endless opportunities for adventure tourism. Seven. Toraholand. Nicknamed the Land of the Heavenly Kings, Toraholand Tana is tucked within the lush central highlands of Indonesia's southern Sulawesi, a region that's dotted with rice fields, limestone peaks, and bamboo-clad hills. Home to the Toraja, a Christian and animist people, Tana Toraja has a fascinating culture that's remained largely and surprisingly independent from Western influence. Toragians are famous for their massive peaked roof houses known as Tonkonan and spectacular but gruesome funeral rites. After a person's death, the body is kept, often for several years, until the actual funeral ceremony, which can last for several days. The deceased is then finally buried in a small cave or in a hollow tree. The biggest funerals are usually held in the dry season months of July and August, but there are funerals year-round. 6. Bukit Lawang Bukit Lawang is a small village situated at the eastern side of Gunung Loser National Park about 90 km northwest of Maidan, the capital city of North Sumatra. A rehabilitation center for orangutans was founded here in 1973. The main purpose is to preserve the decreasing number of orangutan population due to hunting and deforestation. The ecotourism here provides jobs and an income for local families living in the village and is a worthy charity to support, if not for the animals alone. The chance to see orangutans in the wild is the major drawcard, but the village is also a worthy stop. It's built in a sustainable way that takes the surrounding environment into consideration. Bukit Lawang is a popular destination for guided jungle trekking, acting as the gateway to the Gunning Loser National Park. Here, you can spot Thomas leaf monkeys with their unusual haircuts, walk in the footprints of tigers and elephants, and explore on foot with local bird and nature walks. 5. Bromo Tengger Semeru National Park. Tucked within East Java, Bromo Tengger Semeru National Park is an ethereal yet barren wonderland of volcanic calderas seemingly continuously surrounded by smoke and clouds. The park gets its name from the merging of the Hindu Tengger people and the two mountains found in the park, Mount Bromo and Mount Semeru. The latter is the highest mountain in the Java region, and one of the most active volcanoes in Indonesia. The draw here is less about wildlife and more about the scenery, yet there are still some interesting animals to be seen, such as Java rusa deer, marbled cats, wild pigs, and the occasional leopard. The best part about a visit to this park is the chance to climb a volcano at sunrise for some of the most exceptional views across this otherworldly landscape. 4. Lombok. An increasingly popular alternative to overly commercial Bali, Lombok and its offshore coral ring Gili Islands are tropical paradises. 
Here, you can enjoy all the appeal of Bali before tourism took over, surfing hotspots, uncrowded beaches, and magical waterfalls tucked within steamy jungles, of which T. Ukelep waterfall tops the list without question. Backpackers head to Lombok in search of adventure. This is likely because its volcano-topped jungle provides for a great trek surrounded by unforgettable scenery. If you're planning on hiking the Gunning Rinjani volcano and its photogenic crater lake, make sure you're fit and have booked with a reputable guide, it's by no means a walk in the park. There's also a fantastic nightlife scene when the sun goes down on the satellite islands of Gili, particularly Gili Trawangan. 3. Komodo National Park Located in Indonesia's Nusa Tenggara region, Komodo National Park is famous for one thing and one thing only, its reptilian namesake, the Komodo dragon. Spread across three main islands, Komodo, Rinka, and Padar, as well as a collection of smaller islets, the park provides a sanctuary for this strange-looking creature reminiscent of the dinosaurs. It's the largest living lizard on the planet and can reach a mighty three meters in length. The reptiles roam freely over the islands, and visitors rely on experienced tour guides for sightings and to keep them safe. Today, the park has expanded to include the conservation of the entire ecosystem both on land and in the ocean. There are several endemic species, such as rinka rats and fruit bats, as well as wild horses, long-tailed macaques, water buffalo, and several species of dangerous snakes. 2. Yogyakarta Yogyakarta is a bustling town of some 500,000 people and the most popular tourist destination on Java, due to its proximity to the famous temples of Borobudur and Prambanan. The city itself is a center of education and culture, particularly for Javanese fine arts, from theater to ballet performances, and has a wide range of tourist facilities. It is also the last Indonesian city still ruled by a monarchy. Yogyakarta lies in one of the most seismically active parts of Java and has thus repeatedly been struck by earthquakes and volcano eruptions. In 2006 an earthquake flattened over 300,000 houses while in 2010 the nearby volcano of Mount Merapi erupted, spewing lava over nearby villages. Apart from nearby Buddhist and Hindu temples, and the sites in the city itself, small enough that it can be explored on foot, Yogyakarta is also a great base for exploring the surrounding villages locked in time by hardened lava on a Merapi lava tour, an activity that's both sobering and captivating. 1. Bali one of the most visited and dreamed of destinations on the modern traveler bucket list, Bali is a kaleidoscope of beautiful beaches, volcanic hills, lush rice paddies, and thousands upon thousands of Indonesian temples. It's celebrated for its laid-back atmosphere that's attracted backpackers, surfers, and yogis for years, who have come in search of finding their zen in this tropical paradise. Nicknamed the ''Island of the Gods,'' Bali is deeply rooted in the spiritual, with endless Hindu temples boasting colorful architecture all of their own, particularly in Ubud, Bali's spiritual capital. Yet all of Bali's wonders have not gone unnoticed, and the island can get uncomfortably packed during the tourist season around August. If possible, school holidays are best avoided too. Spend your days relaxing on some of Bali's best beaches and diving in the Coral Triangle with its endless array of magical marine life.